Hello, welcome back, boys and girls. Today we're reading day 18 of the book series, The Month of Christmas, written by T. Ferris. Now, this remarkable story is all about Santa Claus, the elves, and all the wonderful animals and people that live in the North Pole. Now, let's see what happens. Let's get started. Day 18, Gingerbread House Day. Day 18 is a day that every elf makes a gingerbread house. Did you know in the 17th century, only professional gingerbread bakers were allowed to bake gingerbread? Only at Christmas and Easter were others allowed to bake it. In 2013, a group in Bryan, Texas, broke the Guinness World Record by making the largest gingerbread house ever. It measured 2,520 square feet. Now, the tradition of making decorated gingerbread houses started in Germany in the early 1800s. According to certain researchers, People made them after the fairy tale in Cell and Gredo became popular. Now I have a different story to tell about why the elves make gingerbread houses. Now one day in the enchanted forest, the gingerbread man was out for a walk to visit some friends. And when he came to the river, a sly fox who loved the taste of gingerbread was sunning herself on the bank. And then she said to the gingerbread man, Would you like to cross the river? And he replied, Yes, I'm going to see my friends, the three pigs. Crossing here would save me a long walk and I would not have to cross the drawbridge. He likes to eat gingerbread. Don't we all? <laughs> Thought the fox. And then she said, Hop on my back and I will swim across the river. It will save you time and you will avoid the hungry troll. I've never seen a fox before. The gingerbread man did not know that they can be very devious and have a taste for gingerbread. So he hopped on the fox's back and they started across the river. And when they reached the other bank, the fox was ready for a snack. And before she could grab the gingerbread man, he hopped over her and onto the shore barely escaping a snapping teeth. He went on to the first little piggy's house, but it was gone. Only a mailbox remained. What could have happened? Did the pig move his house? And then he stopped at the place where the second pig's house should have been, but it was gone too. Again, only the mailbox remained. Now he was becoming a little worried. The gingerbread man went on to the third pig's break house. Now outside the door was a wolf, often and puffing. As you know, that brick house did not collapse like the other piggy's house. Now the wolf turned and saw the gingerbread man and he said, if I can't get dinner, then I will have some dessert. Now the gingerbread man and the wolf passed the fox in the river, and she joined in the chase, and they ran over the troll bridge. Trip trap, trip trap, so quickly that the troll did not have enough time to stop them or even say, who is that tripping over my bridge? 
Now he too joined the chase. And the gingerbread man ran into his little gingerbread house and he hid behind his bed. And the wolf said, I'll blow down the house and then we can eat. And the fox said, I'll trick the cookie to come outside and we can grab him. And then the troll said, I'm hungry. I haven't had anything to eat for days. The ghost tricked me again. Let's just eat. And so they began eating the gingerbread house with the gingerbread man inside. They had finished the house and they were ready to eat the gingerbread man. When the green fairy came along, now she was taking some elf scouts to deliver cookies to her sister, Tinkerbell. And in a wink, she waved a magic wand and a swarm of bees appeared and chased the three villains away. And they ran and jumped into the river under the troll bridge. The gingerbread man was crying. He had no house to live in. What could he do? One elf scout said, We can build you a new house. And another one said, It will have cookie walls made of salt, not sugar. So it will be hard and sturdy as a rock. And it will taste terrible. So no one would try to eat it. And the fairy said, I'll quickly bake the pieces of the house for you. And then she waved a wand and a magic oven appeared. And she added a pinch of flour, ginger and salt. And then she said, oven, bake now. And the oven baked hard terrible tasting cookie boards for the walls, doors, and roof. And then she said, Oven, stop now. And it did then. Now she also made a few windows and even a skylight to let sunlight into the house and warm it on cold winter days. The elf scouts and gingerbread men quickly built the house. It looked fantastic, but tasted terrible. The gingerbread man thanked them all, and then they continued on to visit Tinkerbell. Now he decorated his house with candy and icing made with salt, not sugar. And he decided to grow Christmas trees for all the elves to decorate each Christmas. And for their generosity, he would give them the trees for free. Now, if the wolf or fox or troll came again, he would slam his door and call for the bees. Now, they now lived in a hive near his house and loved Christmas tree pollen. It makes the sweetest honey. So, every year on this day, the elves build gingerbread houses to commemorate the day that the Green Fairy and Elf Scouts helped the gingerbread man. When you build your gingerbread house, remember how kind and generous they were. And maybe you can help someone someday. Wow. What a wonderful, wonderful story. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls. We thank you for being here. We'll see you soon.